It's still a little puffy, as you can see right here. Yep, this one's still a little bit puffy, so we'll keep an eye on him today to see if it goes away. What happened to you? Hey, farm fam! Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So, today we're gonna go again vlog style because I've missed just vlogging lately. Um, but now we're kind of like getting into the swing of things at the new house. Things are almost going back to completely normal because one of our biggest renovations, which was our kitchen, is about to be done. So I want to show you guys that. But then also I have an update on the barn, so I'm just super excited. We're really getting close to being back to normal. All right, you guys, so quick little update on the kitchen for those that care. Um, this is how it looks. So we originally did have a pretty small kitchen, and there's a big hole still right there. Um, but this is how we've expanded it out as much as we could for where the kitchen is. And then of course we still have this awesome window with this view of the horses. Um, and then basically all we're missing is countertops. So we've just been using the tops of the shelves as like countertops. So the countertops should be here in like the next couple days and then we will pretty much have a fully functioning kitchen. So I'm super excited about that. The dogs are eating right now. And we need to go outside. So Trigger actually had a pretty bad allergic reaction last night. I noticed his one eye was super swollen and just the one. So I thought maybe he got stung by something. I wasn't exactly sure, but I looked in it and I couldn't see like anything in it. So what I just went ahead and did is I flushed his eye with this clear eyes and it's just like almost like saline solution for humans, but for horses. Um, and then I did put this antibiotic, um, like eye drops in his eye, it's like a gel. So I tried that and then he did like a warm compress on the eye and then I waited a couple hours, we got dinner and then when I got home, um, both eyes were more swollen and they were both leaking so something was obviously just trying to flush through. So then we ran to the store and we ended up going to the store maybe around like 10, closer to 11 and I went to a gas station. I got baby Benadryl and um, for horses you can either give them like 10 tablets of Benadryl or um, four ounces of like the baby Benadryl liquid. So then I gave him more grain, filled it with um, the baby Benadryl and he loves it because it tastes like bubble gum. <laughs> so he ate that, we put a water trough um, in the backyard and then I put him in the backyard because when people are on Benadryl, it causes them to be drowsy. So we didn't want him to be on Benadryl out in the pasture with the other horses and get hurt or anything like that. Now he is out there right now. So we're gonna go and check on him. Donnie. What are you doing? Are you just hanging out in the doorway? I am not in the way. I am just here. <laughs> Hi, kitty kitty. Dummy, come up on. No, that's a bad cat. No, Domino. <laughs> you don't claw at the rugs. Are you gonna sleep in here? He loves to sleep on our bed. You're a sorry excuse for a barn cat because you love being inside. <laughs> Be nice. Oh, that's a sweet boy. He's so sweet. You gonna take a cat nap? Oh, much better. Much better. You look much better. His eyes were so swollen. I wish I took a picture. Be nice. Quit it. But they still are a little bit, um, just like leaking a little bit, but. They look so much better. I don't know what he got into, but as you can see right here, he's just a little bit left, but he looks so much better. His eyes were like blown up like this. Um, and then this one in particular um, was super swollen like right here, but we're looking good, Triggs. You're looking almost back to normal. So I don't know what happened to him, but um, he had to spend the night in our backyard and um, I gave him some baby Benadryl last night um, and that's kind of how I think the little allergic reaction went away. See this eye is still a little puffy as you can see right here. Yep, this one's still a little bit puffy so we'll keep an eye on him today to see if it goes away. What happened to you? What happened to you Triggs? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put him back because we need to take the dogs out. And he can't be in the backyard when the dogs come out. Come on, buddy. He's right here next to Cisco and he's like itching his face on Cisco. He's not doing it now. Aw. 
Hey, be nice. So we let the dogs out. Hi, Lexi. Daisy. So now that Trigger's back in the yard, um, we are going to feed and look at our shed set up. So um, in one of my videos, you guys kept saying um, that I should do a video organizing the shed and everything. Um, and I thought that was a really good idea because our shed really needed it. But um, the owners of the horses that stay with us, she was actually really nice and just like started to clean it for us because obviously she couldn't take it either. <laughs> um, so this is our big pile of non-usable hay that's just, you know, dropped on the ground and we don't use it anymore. And then look at all of our feed bags. It's a tower of feed bags. So it's like cleaner. It actually looks really nice and it's really organized. So um, she moved the pig's feed and the cat's feed over here and then just like our miscellaneous chicken feed and stuff like that. And then our extra bags of chicken feed. And then just junk is all up on here. And then all of the hay is now over here. And then the feed buckets are over there, which makes way more sense. And then the cat's little setup is more so back here. And then like old stuff over there that kind of came with the house that we still haven't cleared out yet. Um, but yeah, this just makes more sense. So like the feeding shed is like kind of clean now. Um, so I don't know if I'll do that video until maybe we um, get the new barn and just like moving everything over there and cleaning this one out because as of right now, it's actually like pretty organized and clean. So yeah, it looks good. I'm super happy about this. It's just better to walk into, not as stressful. So we're gonna feed really quick. Our little feed buggy is full of feed and tons of hay. And it's time to feed the horses. Look at them, they're practically all in their stalls. Hi, pretty. <laughs> Come on! Yes, it's feeding time! Come on, Blaze! Come on, Blaze! Look at him bobbing his head. Is it time to eat? Is it time to eat? So we've got Lulu ready to eat. Cash, Triggs. So it's time to drop grain. Cashy, watch your head. There we go. Triggs, here you go, Bubba. So we might give him more Benadryl tonight just depending on how his eyes do throughout the day. So we'll see. I'm coming, Blaze. Want some food? Yay. Look at you, pretty boy. Are you talking? I'm coming. Last but not least for grain. <laughs> Cash guy. Hey, oh my gosh, look, he's already flipped his bowl over. Super cool. Good job, buddy. Not. Now we give the other horses on our property, we give them hay in the mornings. Here you go, Exie. There you go, Bubba's. Good boy. And then we gotta go bring one for Spirit. And it's so funny, they all know where they're supposed to stand because this is how we feed at night. Hi, Spirit, Spirit. Hi, Spirit. Good boy. And Cisco and X eat next to each other, but we throw them two flakes. All right, you guys, so quick update on the barn, because everyone keeps asking me when we're doing the barn video, and soon, because we're almost done with all like the legal documents of permitting and stuff for Florida. So anyways, basically, the barn is gonna go right here. This is gonna be like the face of it if that makes sense. And um, the face will face like this way towards this camera actually. Um, so the face will be here and then the lean twos will come off this way and this way and then so basically stalls will be down here and then down here. And then as you can see, this is all like in the dog's fence, but we're actually gonna take and stop the fencing right here and drag it down to here. So they only have like a little bit past the screening enclosure. And then this building right here is going to, where our feed shed is actually, is gonna be removed and then this will become like a driveway and then it'll come from our main driveway down to here, down to here, and then to the barn. And then this will all be fenced obviously. And then I could put like a wash rack right here or something like that, just so like this area all right here. If I wanted to tack my horse up or anything like that, give it a bath, 
or just do anything and then this will be gone so the driveway can be there and this will just be all horse area and then the dogs won't have access because we'll be right here but if we ever needed to bring the cows or the pig over here for a hurricane or something like that into the barn we would just bring them through our gate over there that you guys see all the time bring them through and then walk them through here and then to here so they're never actually going out into like the big pasture just makes more sense like this so i'm super excited about this that we finally have put in place where everything's gonna go so i'm so excited and we are almost getting the barn i want to say it's about maybe four to five weeks out fingers crossed all right and now we have to feed the cows a little update on the cows no one has escaped since we have put all of our reinforcements in place so that's good it has successfully worked and a lot of you guys are saying like that we need to do hot wire and stuff like that and not um this fencing but this fencing came with the house just to clear that up um, and we are definitely not going to rip it out. Will we eventually maybe do hot wire? Yes. Um, but as of right now, we have so many other projects that we're working on. Um, and this is working, so this is what we're going to keep. So now we must feed them. So the cows are eating. Dewey over there is eating. Chickens are coming to play with him. And Miss Jolene. I just walked back inside from feeding and look at this little angel. Are you sleeping? Is it nice and cool inside? Such a good kitty. Alright you guys, so I got my new shipment of my Aspen Shaving Nesting Liners. These are the things I always talk about that I really love. Um, for my chickens, the nesting boxes, again, they will be in my description down below if you guys want to get these from Amazon. These are like a lifesaver for me. So, last video when we rescued the little chick from Tractor Supply, um, I want to give you guys a little update on the chick because um, it's doing really good. But we're going to go in the chicken coop. We need to tie up some loose ends in the chicken coop. We need to clean um, some little cages for the moms and chicks and um, put new nesting box liners in so we got to do that today this is like almost turning into basically like a weekend farm vlog because that's really what it is because these are things that we have to do around the farm on the weekends and stuff like that because um it gets messy <laughs> and i'm actually dreading going into this coop right now because it's like extremely hot today um in florida not like it is in every day but today is just a very hot day so yeah i am in the chicken coop I have no face, and there I have a face. Okay, so we gotta take out these cages and get to cleaning. These are the three cages. This one actually has nothing in it anymore, so we need to just get rid of that. These need to be cleaned out of the old nesting box liners, and a new box liner needs to go in it. Same with this over here. Um, and we just need to put all new nesting box liners in these. All right, so I just moved the cage, and as you can see, it's a big mess. We are letting um, the mama hen um, walk around just to get out of the cage for a little bit. And then now I'm going to clean out from underneath the cage, but I think I might even just take out all the shavings of the coop and just do like a fresh start um, since it's hotter these days since we moved in because it's really getting into the middle of summer here. So I'm thinking about just doing that, maybe just cleaning it off and then getting new shavings. So that's what we're going to do. So I was moving the cages and such and look at, I have this, these birds are like twin sisters of the same breed, everything the same mom and dad. And unbeknownst to me because it was behind the cage here they have made mini nests and are hoarding some eggs down here because they are broody and they're both sitting on these nests together so we're gonna need to move them but that's very funny Did you notice your shoes? What? Did you notice your shoes? Yeah, so what? You're wearing one of mine, one of yours. <laughs> you guys, I totally didn't notice, but I literally put on one croc that's mine, and one croc, <laughs> and one croc that's Mike's, and I totally didn't even notice because like mine are actually kind of big on me, um, because they have usually have fur in them, but I took it out, so I totally didn't even <laughs> <laughs> and I have Mike's croc on. <laughs> well, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> okay, so I was just cleaning and I noticed that the little chick got out. But here's a little update. This is her mom. 
and the baby chick. So we need to grab this baby really quickly. Oh, come here, little one. But she's doing good. She definitely knows who her little mommy is. And she is staying very close to mom. <laughs> so cute. I'm so glad we got her. What are you doing, baby? Uh-oh, I don't want her to go under the shed. Look at the little baby. She's doing really good. Meanwhile, she's outside of this cage and I cannot grab her. Come here, little one. Oh. Alright, so I got her with the help of Mike because I couldn't get her myself. But she's so cute. She's doing really well. She's fitting right in and growing. I love her. Okay, so we have most of it cleared out. Mostly all this, with the exception of the nest. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with all that. I just have the water and food moved over here. So we basically just have everything that's just underneath the roosting bars, which I had to get another trash can for. So now we are doing that. Mike is helping and he's working on the shed a little bit because I'm very hot. But I wanted to take a little break and say hi to Mr. Stewie. That's very nice of you. He's a very nice pig. Don't eat my fingers. Oh, you want more scratches, huh? Oh, you're all wet. Did you go swimming? You must have gone swimming in the water. Bertha and her little baby are hanging out together. I'm just giving them some time outside of the cage before we come in and everything. But this other hen wants to be its mom so bad. This hen's actually sitting on eggs and it's trying to steal the chick. <laughs> oh, you guys, I am so red-faced. I'm so hot. Um, everything in the coop is cleaned out. We're just going to let the floor air out before we um, put new shavings in. But I do have my nesting box liners that I'm going to put in now. And I'm thinking I'm going to move the eggs from the ground to one of these nesting boxes. But we'll see. <laughs> and look who's taking a break over there. Mike. Taking a break. <laughs> they are taking a break together. She's just taking a little nap. So, we will begin to fill. One box. Two. Ooh, it's hot. I'm just gonna let that one air out because there was an egg that got opened in that one so there's a lot of flies in there so I'm gonna let that one air out and then I'll put a new nest in there but I'm just gonna go ahead and start to expand these nests a little bit it looks so nice and fresh Now I'm gonna take the eggs from under here and pop them in a nest. All right, so the nesting boxes are in. No shavings yet, like I said. We're gonna clean out the water and then just have left to clean out these little chicken cages. All right, you guys, so we have the chickens back in with their babies, except this other baby is roaming. We need to go find it. But I'm just going to end this vlog here because I'm exhausted. You can see Mike is sweating. We are so hot, so thinking about going and jumping in the pool. So if you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on that post notification so you have a chance for my next post notification. Shout out today. Shout out goes to. All right, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.